Birmingham City, as you've heard, are in their second final, having beaten Chelsea on penalties at Ashton Gate in 2012. They've lost just three of their last 24 matches in all. This is a rapidly developing club, so ignore them at your peril. As they walk out here to what is hoped to be a 40,000 crowd. The din is absolutely deafening, I can tell you, as we have the pyrotechnics. Healthy support for Manchester City. And, of course, Champions League semi-finalists very much the top team in England right now so they really are and and I think looking at this game you think Birmingham are going in as underdogs but I think that the route to the final has been really difficult for them obviously beating Chelsea beating Arsenal on the way so I think they'll be really confident going into this game and I expect a, a really tight final nervous stomach and and Ellen just takes everything in their stride here's AC there's a, an error and she got the shot away, and it's a little bit of a nervy error. And starts that run in there, that's aimed towards Lucy Bronze. That's the touch, that's in. Manchester City lead Birmingham by a goal to nil. In the 27 Cup final, from the minute the free kick was set up, the way Birmingham set themselves up defensively, and the way that Bronze and Horton set themselves up to have the run, you thought it was going to go in. Lucy Bronze. Well, it was a fantastic delivery. Again, we spoke of her set pieces on throw-ins. What a ball that is, absolutely whipped in with so much pace. And Lucy Bronze does what she does. She gets in front of a defender. You know, defensively, I think Keris Harrop will be disappointed that she couldn't get in front there. She, she, to be honest, she's put all her effort in there. But Lucy Bronze, top, top header. Again, she's another big player that can step up to the big occasion. It's all about the delivery for me as well at Bristol, so they're, they're travelling, so they've got that to contend with. Well, here's Lucy Bronze for them, in comes a cross, and it's two! And it's Izzy Christensen arriving, and it's a lovely goal, and Manchester City very much in the driving seat. 25 minutes gone at Wembley in the 27 FA Women's Cup final. Manchester City go 2 to up against Birmingham City. Well, the goal scorer turn provider there, Lucy Bronze, down that right-hand side. Like I said, sometimes she's Manchester City's best attacking player. It's good pressure initially, wins the ball back. Her first thought is to drive forward. You can see she's looking up, where's my option? And then she can see her option is coming in. Izzy Christiansen comes running, th that, that late run into the box. She times her run so, so well. Lovely delivery and what a finish from Izzy Christiansen. It's a long way back for Birmingham now. Former Birmingham City player, player who watched from the bench in the 2012 final when they beat... 93. The team's linked with male counterparts have dominated. Here's Aisi for Birmingham City. Now comes a confident Aaron Bardsley with the play. Here's Kylie Lawley. Good timing on the pass. Now Lawley, direct run into the box. She's being chased, she gets the shot away. And, and Katrin Berger makes sure the shot goes wide. It's another really fast break from Manchester City and they're just looking to get the ball out wide at every opportunity and, and you can see the wing-backs trying to get back. It's Megan Sargent actually that, that makes it difficult. Puts Mel Lawley out at, a, at an angle. And she's well within her rights to shoot. I wonder if Carly Lloyd thinks she could have maybe crossed that, but you've got to have a go at goal when you're running in there. Goal against uh, Liverpool in the semi-final, Lawley. Christensen's short corner kick. And back sensibly to Megan Campbell. That's a lovely delivery to the back stick, and it's three! And it's Carly Lloyd, a Wembley goal scorer again! Olympic finals, the World Cup final, and now the FA Cup final, the big game scorer, the world's best player, Carly Lloyd, surely puts the FA Cup final beyond Birmingham with just 31 minutes play. If you're into women's football, if you're a young player, here's Ellen White with a drive, and she's tested Karen Bardsley. Work to do for the Manchester City goalkeeper at last from Ellen White. That's exactly what Birmingham need to do. They need to see the opportunity and take that opportunity quickly. Good in the middle. As he is there. Good, good football by Birmingham. They've got a chance here now. Oh, oh. the goal! She's come off the bench to the best striker of the ball and she gets it all for Birmingham City. Charlie Wellett. 
Kenneth Harrop certainly knows her players, doesn't she? She's done really well since she's come on. I don't think she's done anything wrong. She's set the ball up for players. She's run into the channels, which they've needed. Got forward and good strike there with her left foot to beat Karen Barsley right into the court. Roy battling that. Mark Christensen to Tony Duggan. Duggan, if you can switch it, she can. She finds Jill Scott. They could get another one. Scott! Oh, it's a lovely goal to wrap it up for Manchester City. By one of the most popular girls in the game. Ten minutes to go. Jill Scott gets a goal in the FA Cup final. Set up by Tony Duggan. Finished brilliantly. Birmingham City 1, Manchester City 4. And the result now well beyond doubt. And Manchester City, league winners, Continental Cup winners, and now FA Cup winners. What a finish from Jill Scott, and, you know, it was a good bit of play from Tony Duggan initially to, to pick out the pass of Jill Scott, but that's a lovely finish, quick feet initially, and then right into the top corner. It's Birmingham City were just getting themselves back into the game. That puts it totally beyond them now. That's the problem, isn't it? When you commit players forward to try and get back into the game, that can happen on a quick counter-attack. Back here, though, by Mailing. Carter closed down, mailing again. Carter. Better cross in. Second time. Ellen White. Might have seen it a little bit late. Ellie Brazil was in front of her. She dummied it so that it came through to Ellen White, but I'm not too sure how much she'd have seen of the ball before it came onto her foot. No, it was a good delivery and she's just leaning back as she as she strikes the ball. It's always gonna go over. Hold of a pass. Stokes into Lloyd. She's done really well there. Stanway. Chased and chased well by Harrop, but she still gets the shot off. What a lovely bit of setup play by Carly Lloyd. Outstanding bit of play. She could see Georgia Stanway, and it was just a lovely ball right into her path. I actually think Georgia Stanway could have played the ball back to Carly Lloyd. She'd made a run just round there, the outside. Manchester City having won the league, having won the Continental Cup, have won the FA Cup now in 2017. What a consolation to the beaten coach the Manchester City on the day was simply too good Lucy Bronze put them ahead after 18 minutes with a header setting up Christensen for a brilliant second seven minutes later and then from a lovely left wing cross Carly Lloyd rose to the far post three up on 32 minutes they weren't going to be beaten substitute Wellings pulled one back and Ellen White worked her socks off but Jill Scott completed the victory and when you've got the world's best player on your team when you've got seven of England's European champion squad in your team, it's always going to be difficult for the rivals and Birmingham City Sioux found it too difficult on the day and Manchester City worthy with it.